Jeremy, what in the world is that, and what are you doing? I'm just taking my Efreza. Your what? My Efreza. It's inhaled insulin, Eric. Let me tell you all about it. Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. And I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. Jeremy and I are both endocrinologists, and we've both been living with type 1 diabetes since the age of 15. And we've both been using a Frezza for a long time. We've spoken about it many times in our videos, articles, podcasts, and conferences. Now, we obviously staged that campy little opening scene there, but Steve and I can both tell you that this happens in real life all the time, doesn't it, Steve? All the time, Jeremy. And you know, I actually get really excited when someone asks what I'm doing, what am I inhaling, what is this thing? Because it really is a unique and fantastic product that I actually enjoy talking about. Well, let's talk about it. What would you have said to Eric? What is a Frezza? Well, a Frezza is a powdered human insulin that's inhaled in the lungs for rapid absorption and action. It's great as a pre-meal dose to prevent those blood sugar spikes after meals. You can use it one to two hours after eating supplementally to treat an elevated blood sugar. You can really use it anytime you want to bring down your elevated glucose levels for any reason. Sometimes we refer to this as a correction dose. A Frezza is unique in that it has a rapid on, rapid off time course of action, which means the insulin gets in and out of your body quicker, which really helps prevent post-meal glucose levels from spiking and avoiding delayed hypoglycemia that you may get with rapid acting insulin that's injected into your subcutaneous tissue, which hangs around for a lot longer. Now, Frez has actually been approved since 2014, and it's been proven to be both safe and effective. It can be used as your mealtime insulin, correction insulin, or on top of your usual regimen in situations where you need to bring down an elevated blood sugar safely and quickly. In fact, a very recent study called the INHALE 3 study was completed and users of Afreza were compared to people on their usual care regimen of multiple daily injections and also compared to those on hybrid closed loop pump systems. Users of Afreza on top of basal insulin showed better A1C and time and range with no increase in hypoglycemia. So why aren't more people with diabetes, both type 1 and type 2, on this medication with all these benefits? One major problem is that when a person with diabetes learns about a Frezza and feels it could really help them, their healthcare professionals simply may not be educated about the benefits of a Frezza and often turns them down because they think it isn't the right thing for them or because they just don't know much about it. We know that a Frezza isn't necessarily for all people with diabetes on insulin. However, we feel strongly that a Frezza can improve glucose management in the majority of people who take insulin. We both use it ourselves and have great clinical results for our patients also. So let's talk about how to use it. Jeremy, show them. I'd be happy to. So first, you pop one of these doses of a Frezza out of its sealed pack like this. Then you put it in the inhaler like this. You get it close to your mouth, snap it down, and inhale it like this. And that's it. Done. Now, one important thing to note is that a Frezza uses different units than what you've probably been used to. For example, a four-unit Frezza cartridge would actually be more like two units of a rapid-acting insulin injection, but it's easy to figure that out and calculate as you use it. You really have to be your own best advocate and have a firm conversation with your doctor. First, you have to learn about a Frezza to see if you think you're a good candidate. Secondly, if you talk to your healthcare professional and they push back and it doesn't seem to make sense to you, you should feel empowered to push back and fight for why you think it's a good option for you. At minimum, your doctor should be prepared to at least let you try it and see what kind of results you get. And I know this might sound extreme and perhaps easier said than done, but if your healthcare provider continues to push back, you might consider finding a new healthcare provider altogether. All right, Jeremy, let's role play. I'll be the person with diabetes who could benefit from a Frezza. I get lots of glucose spikes after meals that take a long time to come down, and you're the doctor. You mean the ruggedly handsome doctor, right? Absolutely, Jeremy. <laughs> and action. Steve, how's it going? How are you? 
I'm good, doctor. Great. So how are things going with your, um, your, uh, your diabetes there? Well, it's going pretty good, but I wanted to talk to you about a medication I've been reading about called Afreza. It's human inhaled insulin, and it really can help with my stubborn spikes that I get after eating all the time. Yeah, I don't know if you need all that. And you, you said it's called... Um, Af uh, Afreza. Yeah, Afreza. But uh, let's just stick with the basics. You know, keep working on your diet, lower those carbs, and take the insulin 20, 30 minutes before you eat. I hear you, Doc. But from what I've been reading, I really feel that Afreza can help with my blood sugar spikes and actually reduce the amount of hypoglycemia I get. I'd just like to try it. Plus, there might be a little something in it for you. Steve, the uh, chocolate won't be necessary. But I can see that you've read a lot about this and you're you know, willing to give it a shot, so I'm willing to give it a shot too. I'll call it into your pharmacy. Um, just make sure to wear your CGM, keep a close eye on your blood sugars, and I'm actually interested to see how this goes. So, like I said, I'll call it in and stay in touch. Thank you, doctor. I'll be taking this now. So that really is a good example of how you can and should advocate for yourself, whether it's for a Freza or really any other medication that you think would help you. Now, you should assume and actually expect that your doctor doesn't know very much about a Freza. That's just the way it is right now. But you can help your doctor take better care of you by arming yourself with knowledge about a Freza and making a reasonable case for why you should try it. It's really up to you to take control of your diabetes. Good luck. Cheers.